Hi, uh, thanks for joining us. This is RG Small Engine Repair, and we're going to show you uh, how to work on a common problem with the UT400s Coleman has. Um, it's adjusting the linkage. Uh, we'll have another video posted later about how to um, weld on a shift tab that they've added as a modification to their uh, standard product. All right, first we're gonna start off by lifting the hood and there's two rubber straps that keep it held down. One's right here, one's right on the other side. Um, you'll just sit there and grab the hood, pull it up and we're gonna look for that linkage right here by the shift knob. And that linkage adjustment is right here and the bolt that holds it on to your shift lever is gonna be located right here underneath your dash inside your compartment. Whew. Yep. Here we go, we're gonna go ahead and take this bolt off so we can get this linkage moved. And here, this nut is a 10 millimeter. Right here's the nut. We'll have to move that so we don't drop it. Obviously, we don't want to have a day like that. And I just got the pulled it right off the bolt stud and just letting here lay it loose. That way it doesn't catch on anything. And we'll head to underneath the seat. And how to remove this seat? You just lift up on the front right here in the middle. It'll pop out, and then you just slide it right out the front. Pick it up and get it out of your way. Now, we're going to have to remove this plate to get where we need to go. Um, we'll have to loosen up these bolts, pull these two out, and pull out this Phillips. We'll probably pull out the whole front. That way it makes it easier to slide out. Okay, and we got these bolts taken out, and we got the back middle two taken out, and the end ones here and right on the other side. They are loosened. That way it helps that plate slide a little bit easier. And we just kind of push this plastic out of the way. That'll pop up and it just slides right out. Okay. And then now down here underneath your air box, you're going to have your shift linkage located right about here. All right. Okay. So now what they want us to do is they want us to take this shift linkage and with our thumb or hand, push all the way back and that would be in forward position. Now up here on the column, you would take your shifter lever and go all the way up into the forward position as well. And that's where we come back to the front of the engine and adjust this linkage right here to match up with our rod. It made it very imperative that you need to make sure that the shift linkage does not move the remainder of your adjustment. All right, and then back under the hood here, you'll see the linkage adjustment screws. We'll loosen them. And we'll have to loosen this one back up here because it looks like we need to give it just a little bit more movement. And right there, that slips right on. We're still in forward. Our shift linkage down at the engine is still where it needs to be. So we'll tighten the screw up. Okay, so it looks like we got the adjustment to where it just slips on and off the lever. We got it all tightened up. We're gonna get this 10 millimeter bolt put back on. Tighten up here. Okay. 
Okay, and now she's all tightened up. Should be good to go. And if you have any more problems, we will be sure to post another video on the modification of the shift tab up on your lever. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And the more views, the better we turn out. <laughs>